It's day 13 and today we're going to look at an E7 chord. Now you probably heard there it sounds a little bit more bluesier if you compare it to a regular E chord. So um, it's very very simple uh, um, to play this voicing uh, in this position as all you're doing is taking away a finger from the E chord that we, we've already learnt. So if we have a look at our E chord, we take our E chord shape, uh, we have our second finger or middle finger on the second fret of the A string, our ring finger or third finger on the second fret of the D string and our index finger on the first fret of the G string. And it sounds like this, this is a regular E chord. Just to recap there. So we're going to take away our ring finger and play the open D string. That will give us um, the D string will act as a minor seven um, tone here. Uh, if you want me to do a, um, a lesson on chord construction and chord spellings, uh, just drop me a comment here in the um, um, comments panel on YouTube uh, or or Facebook or wherever you're watching this. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll see you if the, if there's enough people that want it. I'll, I'll do a lesson on on chord theory and stuff like that. And um, don't forget to subscribe and uh, send this around to your friends that, uh, or family members that maybe are interested in learning guitar or maybe need a few new chord voicings because, uh, like I said before, as uh, we evolve, um, progress with this, the chords are going to get a lot, a lot more advanced. So anyway, back to our E7 chord. Uh, we had our E chord and we took away our, our ring finger um, and we got this sound. <laughs> So, I'm basically going to move between E and E7. Okay, um, now, uh, this shape, the E shape, like our E major shape, if we just change our fingers around here, That's an E major chord, we can move it along using a bar uh, to play other chords. So for example, I'll play a little chromatic thing and move it up the neck there. Now we can do the same thing here. We change our fingers around to play the E chord. So uh, now I've got my ring finger on the second fret of the A, little finger on the second fret of the D, and uh, middle finger on the first fret of the G string. Now what I have to do is take away my little finger and move that shape along. Um, I'm going to move it along uh, two frets. I'm going to play an F sharp, and I'm going to put my index finger down here on the second fret and hold down all the strings. So I create a bar there. And there I have my my E shape um, uh, seventh chord. So it's an E seven chord, and here I'm moving it along the fretboard. Okay, uh, I'll see you tomorrow for the next quarter.